later on. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. It's Hill, complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Okay, ready? Throwing now is Tugamailoa. Oh, Edmonds has it knocked loose. And it's picked up by the Ravens. There he goes, right side. Pass the 20. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. Oh, backbreaker. That'll drive the coach, the offensive coordinator, just crazy. You get it all the way down there in the red zone, can't capitalize. Instead, they go the other way on the fumble return for a touchdown. How about the aggressiveness of the defense, though? They're not about to just fall on a fumble, are they? Scoop and score is their motto, and they just did it. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This will be fielded inside the five. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Chase Edmonds and the Dolphins taking over on offense once again. He's probably a little angry at himself. It was his fumble, obviously, a moment ago that led to the scoop and score touchdown that has him down early. And now we find out about the psychology aspect of being a coach. Because when you have a guy who's, that's just happened, some people want to take him out of the game immediately. Others say, you know something? Let's feed him the ball again next series and see if he's going to be able to atone for it. Let's see what they decide to do. Now this defense for the Ravens, terrific last week in the season opening victory. And the way they did it was by getting after the quarterback. Sacked him seven times in that game. Came from all angles to a hit, and the ball is out. And this will be gathered up in the end zone. And that's a defensive touchdown. Once that ball was loose, the question was, would this be two or would it be six? It's six, the defense able to pounce on it. And for the offense, the training didn't really kick in, did it? Once that ball comes loose, you've got to get on it, make sure that you recover it, or make sure you punch it out of the end zone. Anything but give it to the defense to score a touchdown. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. Fielded right around the eighth. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. It'll be Edmonds to begin the drive. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Bucks is a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Here's Tua. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson, and he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And incomplete on the deep ball. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Well, my friend, this has certainly been a comedy of errors here in the first quarter. Neither side able to really hang on to the ball. Yeah, now I'm just curious to see which team can adjust because both have made their mistakes, as you said. Yeah, and whoever can do that can seize firm control of this game. Something they haven't done with the best.
pass so far. That burst good for 20 and a first down. He'll drop to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And he'll decide to keep this once more. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Back to throw here. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And his kick here is good. And that'll make this 17-0 here in the opening quarter. So able to add on to their first half lead here, Charles, forcing the miscue with a fumble. Two and now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline. But out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. A nice run back there off the good punt. It's a 16-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, a solid stiff arm and some open field. 20. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. They scored the most points of anyone on opening weekend and now first quarter touchdown here. And while there's no guarantee that all the points they score in opening weekend are going to hold up and be the average all year long, they're certainly starting to set that type of a pace. And what you do with that is you put in the heads of all of your opponents. We've got to really be ready on defense because these guys don't have football in the end zone. Do you think they can keep piling on the points like this? I think they can if they're prepared to adjust and adapt because they won't see the same defense as week in and week out. Now for the point after. And the lead is now 24. I'm not sure if they do that play up to score, but it's scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From the six. And able to get this out to the 25. The Dolphins about set to go to work on offense. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Yeah, come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Tua looking to throw on third and two. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. 
A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. They'll drop to throw. Going for the deep ball. He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. We spent a lot of time talking about what's going on on the field. How about off the field with the evaluation? And they spent a lot of time saying, we've got to get a rookie in here who has big playability. And that's exactly what we're seeing here early in his career. Drafted him in the spring. Here he is early in the fall making an impact. They go play action here on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They'll look to throw again. Fires quickly to White. And they'll get this down to the ten. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. Emmanuel Agba finding his way to the ball for a big stop there behind the line of scrimmage. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw a defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. 73 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They'll look to throw on third and goal. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're not... Field. Here's Tua going right back to Wilson. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. We are in for a good one as we're through one. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. And now Edmonds going to be stopped up short. He did not get there. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. A week two underway around the NFL. And a reminder that later tonight, it'll be Chicago and Green Bay in the Packers' home opener. The 101st season of that great rivalry. They had the 100th anniversary last year. And then tomorrow night, a treat. A Monday night doubleheader. Tennessee and Buffalo, 715 Eastern. And then Minnesota and Philly kicking off a little over an hour later. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Up the middle they go. Thomas. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Looking for White on the deep ball. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Graham. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. A great effort there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens continue to pull away here in this first half. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Start on the ground with Edmonds. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On second and nine. Tua. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it. So the Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Up the middle they go. It's Thomas. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is caught inside the 15. And in for the Ravens touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Two are going to throw. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Under pressure, and down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Gets past one man. 35 yards that time on the punt. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Oh, what a juke into space. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. 
And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll look to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Thomas. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They're going to look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top, unsuccessfully. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals. Play action, Tonga Bailoa. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. But I think a Dolphin was able to fall on it. Yes, they'll keep possession here. Now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's a give to Edmonds running to the right and he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. Now the veteran Thomas Morstead on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. It's taken to the 26. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and it's going to be a first down. Well done. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Hurry, hurry. He'll look to throw. Looking for White on the deep ball. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens would extend their lead here just before halftime. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. Extra point splits the uprights. And the round is on here in this first half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. No reason to do anything foolish as they'll snap it one more time on first down. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll begin with a couple of cellar dwellers from a season ago. The Jets on the road at Cleveland. And it is the Jets who have the lead in that one. 
The Jets looking to sew that one up, and they look to be in pretty good shape. Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And we will not see a return to start the half, as this will be a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they'll begin by running the option. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Out to his left. Finding room at midfield. And he's going to step out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 41 yards. You get a rookie tight end who can run like this, it just gives this offense a different dimension than they've had. It's going to be fun to watch his development and how this offense expands as this season moves along. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. They'll set up to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Down inside the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of games you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he pushes forward, but comes up short of the goal line. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. The previous play is under review. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. After review of the play, ruling on the field is reversed. Stop it far behind the line of the game. 
The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. And the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead. And now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Well, we saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over, and they'll make it a big part of their offense. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. He'll get this to his tight end, Gasicki. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, the margin on that scoreboard, obviously, for them, it looks daunting. But I don't know, Charles. They're probably not focused on that right now. Maybe just chaining together a positive drive with plays like we just saw, giving themselves something to build on. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And what they have to be careful of is getting glued to that scoreboard, trying to do too much. Because if you do that, you're all but guaranteed to start making mistakes. Just focus on one play at a time and make each one successful. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 97 yards on the ground for him so far. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. And right about now, you start to think, and maybe they're starting to think, gosh, maybe points aren't going to happen for us in this game. Well, it's a thought that is worth having because so far in this game, this defense has not just had the upper hand. They've appeared to be a step ahead, maybe even two steps, to everything they've done. They've had an answer for everything this offense has thrown at them. Here's a good way to kick off a drive, complete over the middle. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Drops it underneath to Thomas. Oh, he shifts past him, and he'll be out of bounds. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. A nice throw right there. And Charles, this is game number two in the NFL for this young rookie. His guy's getting the victory last week, and he played pretty well by most to catch. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. It's that. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Up the middle they go. Graham, the linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Now a play fake here on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touch. Take over at the turn. 
After the turnover, it's Tua. He'll get this underneath to Edmonds. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua on the screen. This is Edmonds. And he is going to lose yardage here. They'll wind up losing three here on the play. And now third down and six to go. Looking to pass. Tua. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fielded at the 43. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Ravens will take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start out here with the option left. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Second and 11. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 16. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Thomas. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Miami set to take over. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter. And a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner? To put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now, they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Third and one, and Tua wants to throw it. He'll swing that out to Edmonds. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of six yards on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for Miami. Fielded just inside the 30. Shoves him away. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory, perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. On 
on first down. Thomas. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. On second down now, it's Thomas. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Steps away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just... trying again after the pick six. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. So now after the sack, two in the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Open man is Waddle complete. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll run on first down. Graham. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. So the final seconds tick. 